Yeah, so I was wrong. That Libyan Prime Minister thing, that was a, a totally legit occurrence. thought it was going to work its way into some kind of psyop, but I thought it was a little weird that it wasn't getting any attention when it happened. And usually that's kind of a sign for, I don't know, whatever, but... Yeah, I guess I, I wanted to try to start uploading a video every day now and stuff. And uh, Anyway, uh, the raid that did take place on an Al-Qaeda person uh, five days beforehand, like, you know, there were basically things that the Libyan Prime Minister was doing which was allowing for U.S. intervention. And so some kind of, like, contractor group, apparently... Uh, who's been tasked with sort of, you know, security and police forcing in that country essentially went and abducted him, I guess in order to negotiate some terms or feel like they're, I don't know, but apparently they ended up releasing him and then once they released them everything was okay after that. But that really shows, I mean, that's the, that's like the president. I mean, that's like the whole country basically at risk. So that's clearly... A case of things getting a little out of control, a little out of hand, and honestly, from my perspective, it's a pot like, you know, other people are going to be like, oh, that's that's unstable, that's bad, but in reality, uh, instability is a sign of progress, in reality, and it does kind of suck because it, you know it's, it makes things dangerous, but. Um, but you know, this is a uh, this is a little bit you know this is very controlled. And to be honest with you, if you want to make sure that we get out of it, because every single one of us should want to get out of this. I mean, people. This is not just economy or jobs. Like I said before, this is people dying. People are being tortured. People are having their souls sucked out of them and stuff like that. So honestly, you know. You don't want anything under control when it has this track record, you know. But, um, you know, I am starting to feel like those people who essentially, you know, that stuff like the U.S. military and stuff like that, that are trying to protect the country, you know, ultimately are kind of doing the right thing now that it looks like they're investigating Benghazi and they're trying to you know really really kind of like tie Benghazi to criminal element of the uh, State Department and uh, if they do that that's really good I mean because it looks like it's gonna go all the way up to 9-11 and stuff like that 